The Monkey Referee. A hunter made a trap under a tree. The trap was very deep. He put some grass over the trap, then some branches on the grass, and last, some earth on it. Now the road looked just the same as before. Then the hunter left. But the monkey on the tree saw all this. He said to himself, "What a sly man he is! How fine the trap is!" Even I would be trapped if I didn't see this. It's funny anyway. Maybe I should stay here for a while just to find who will be the unlucky one. Soon after that, a rabbit came towards the trap. She walked nearer and nearer to the trap. Now she is so close to it. Oh, she is going to step on the trap. The monkey wanted to save her. Stop! Stop! He shouted to the rabbit and jumped down from the tree. The rabbit is frightened by him, but when she found it's the monkey, she patted her chest and said, "Ah, is it you, my brother monkey? But where are you going?" The monkey asked. "I'm going to the forest, and I want to get some fresh, tender grass leaves for my children." You'd better not go this way. There are some traps in the road. Monkey told her. Thank you. See you. The rabbit said and went another way. But soon she met a hungry wolf in the way. Oh, great! The wolf said greedily. I'm now hungry, so you can be the pastry for me. Understand? We all live in the forest. Why do you have the right to eat me? The rabbit was a little afraid, but still tried to explain. Ha ha ha! Because I'm hungry, I want to eat something. You shouldn't have met me. That is the reason. The wolf shouted. No, it's not fair. We must ask a third person to judge it. Just then, a fox appeared. So the wolf said. Well, you can ask the fox to do that. He's a sensible person. No need to say anything. I've heard what you said. So, rabbit, you should give yourself to the wolf. You must do that. And it's the truth. The fox said, shaking his tail. No, the fox is unfair. We should find another judge. The rabbit said. It's okay. The wolf agreed. So they came over to the monkey. The monkey listened to their statement and said, "The wolf is stronger than the rabbit, so he wants to eat the rabbit. But you need to tell us in what fields you do better than her." Oh, it's quite obvious. See my sharp teeth. I can kill a large cow with them, and my four legs. They can run so fast that I can beat a running Mongolian gazelle. And wait, wait! I can't believe you can run that fast. The monkey interrupts. Oh, little brother, you shouldn't doubt the wolf's abilities. All that he said is true. I'm sure of that. The fox chipped in. The monkey shook his head. Verbal statements are no guarantee. The wolf must prove that with action. He said, "Well, we'll make the tree over there as the end, the road, the track, and the wolf starts twenty steps before the rabbit. The rabbit runs after the wolf. If the rabbit can't catch up with the wolf, he'll have to be your food. But if he does, it means that the wolf." Is just a boastful guy. The wolf was very happy at this. Great! The rabbit runs slower than me. Then, with twenty steps ahead of her, she has no way out. He thinks and then says, "Okay, let's do it." But the talkative fox said, "I can now know the results of the race. Even I can run a rabbit, let alone a wolf with four long legs." Oh, the rabbit will surely be defeated. Well then, 
you'll take part in it too. If you can win, you'll have a piece of rabbit to eat, the monkey said. No problem, the fox patted his chest and said. Thus the race began. The monkey held his mouth, blows a whistle. <whistles> the wolf and the fox started to run to the tree. They were running very fast. The monkey pretended to be a referee and shouted, Come on, the rabbit gets started! Suddenly, tong, tong, the wolf and the fox got trapped. They both hurt themselves badly. After a few minutes, they came to themselves and began to remember what had happened. Then they tried to jump out of the trap. But they couldn't because the trap was too deep. They could do nothing but to bluff and blow. The monkey and the rabbit now stood above by the trap, very happily. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy yourselves, Mr. Wolf!